has done another really cute little song here that's got some very interesting things in it. We're going to take you through very quickly uh, the chords involved in this song because it is quite easy once you know what you're doing with the chords. Download your chart, let's get started. The first two chords in the intro are a G followed by a G7 and then she starts. When I'm away. First chord here is a C add 9. Now it's an add 9 because we've got this D note, which is the third fret of the B string, we add that to our C. So the easiest way to play this chord is by first finger on the D string second fret, second finger on the A string third fret, and your third finger goes on the B string third fret. So it looks like that. You can play that open E string at the top or leave it, doesn't matter. That's your C add 9. Don't play the bottom E string. And then after that, goes to an E7 and the strumming here is kind of like a ukulele style strumming it's very soft it's very laid back you just want to be kind of going like this C add 9 E7 then we go to A minor then D minor followed by G7 Do that through again, C add 9, E7, A minor, then back to the D minor, and G7, end on the C add 9. Then we move into the next section, which begins on a C add 9, so you stay there. And it's C add 9, E7, A minor, and then F minor. Now you can do an F minor like you would do a normal open F chord like this. Move your first finger across to cover the G string first fret as well and lift that finger off the G string. That's your F minor. You can also use those two fingers there, including that C on the bottom, which te technically would make it an F minor slash C. But then you're only one step away from getting that finger across all the strings as your bar finger and fretting that low F note. That's your F minor as a bar chord. So take your choice. Both chords work really well. Both chords sound nice here. You repeat those four bars again, then it moves into Don't say That's an E, not an E7. Although, if you play an E7 there, it's not going to sound bad. Then it goes to A minor, change to an A minor 7 slash G on the second beat of that bar. Now, that's just lifting your finger off the G string and moving it across to the E string 3rd fret, like that. Stay there for two beats. And on the 4th beat of that bar, you do a, a D slash F sharp. Now, there's two ways to do that. Well, there's a couple of ways to do that more than a couple of ways I'm sure, but if you play your D chord with those three fingers instead of those three fingers, then that leaves this finger free to reach over and play your second fret E string, which is your F sharp. So that's a D slash F sharp. You could also just do, and this is the one I usually do, which is a G string second fret, B string third fret. So you, you it's kind of like the start of your D major chord, but you leave that E string open. So technically I guess it's a D sus two, slash F sharp when you put your first finger on that note. That just seems a little easier to reach than that one, but they're almost exactly the same. Then you hold that, you sort of pause, let that ring through for a bar, and then she goes back to the D minor 7, sorry, the D minor, followed by the G7. And then back to the C add 9, E7, a minor, D minor, G7, 
and then C. And on that last C for this section, it's just a straight C major. Again, it doesn't matter if you play a C add nine there. They're very, very closely related, those two chords. Then we get to the second section of this song, which is where the rhythm changes and you start going. So instead of this ukulele lazy strum, we move into all down strums and you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, all right? And there's 12 of those little strums in each bar. So it's C, 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 E minor. And again, that's a C at the start and an E minor here. Now the E minor carries on for a little bit here before it changes back to an E7. So, you know, take your pick whether you want to just be as accurate as you can with these E's, E minors and E7s. They're on your chart as I believe that they happen on the way through the song. But again, if you accidentally play an E7 there instead of an E minor, it's kind of not the worst thing in the world. So from this new rhythm section, we go C, E minor, A minor, then F, then F minor. So the F comes on the third beat, the F minor on the fourth beat. And that is when playing that sort of F to F minor is, is a pretty easy option. Then the singing starts and you've got the same chord progression again. C, E minor, A minor, F, F minor. That little four bar pattern or that little two bar pattern goes through four times. And then the drums come in and that's when your E changes back to an E7. Same F, F minor, C, E7, A minor, F, F minor, do it again. This time on the F, on the fourth beat, that's when it stops and then jumps back into it. Repeat those two bars again. Next time through those same same chords, we're back to muting strumming. And this is just so you can kind of build it up. So in the bars before that, we've been strumming pretty loudly. Then when we get to the outro, you're just really letting loose on those strums. Do that through another, another three times to make a total of four repeats on that last line and then end on the C. And that's your song. It's a great song. Once again, she's done some really interesting things with production. Uh, her brother on guitar is playing some really nice, tasteful stuff. But it's a great song and easy to play. So good luck with it. Let me know if you have any issues. Thanks for watching and we'll see you here again soon.